News, of course, breaking today from Dean Court, and that is that Mark Travers has been recalled from his loan move at Stoke City. Now, he was highly thought of at Stoke, and he was their first choice goalkeeper. Um, Stoke are struggling at the wrong end of the table, and he did play against Leeds the other night. Um, so he's not set to feature in this game against Burnley. But I think it's a positive move. Um, and why do I think it's a positive move? We're bringing back a goalkeeper that has got plenty of experience um, and plenty of game time so far this season. Um, it's a little bit harsh on Stoke. I completely understand that their fans are disappointed and so would I be if I was a Stoke fan. But it also kind of signifies that Radu might not be up to it. Um, he will start, of course. But the pressure is definitely on, and that pressure is good um, because at the same time, I think you know he needs somebody behind him who you know is going to be challenging for that jersey um, whilst Neto is out. Now, to be fair, if either of them do perform, and considering what Neto's done recently, they could get the nod permanently. So this is a great opportunity for Mark Travers, great opportunity for Radu to really shine through. Seems like Darren Randolph is not going to be in the picture. He is really in the back room as an emergency third goalkeeper. But um, I think, you know, Travers is, you know, of course, a Stellar goalkeeper um, on his day. I think he lost confidence as um, you would do by conceding nine against Liverpool that time back. But you've got to cast your mind back to that performance that he showed against Spurs um, quite a few years ago now. Um, he was outstanding in that game. And I actually thought that he was going to become the number one instead of Ramsdale. Instead, it was the other way around. Ramsdale could become number one then went to Sheffield United, and then, of course, to Arsenal. So, Travers has got a chance to establish himself now in this squad and be a big part of the rest of the season. Now, I understand that he can go back out on loan, and that loan move has to be to Stoke City. So, there won't be any moves anywhere else. Um, he has to go to Stoke if he does leave the club again on loan. But um, I don't think that's a bad thing. And I think Stoke will probably have him back. Um, you know, their goalkeeping department is, you know, remember Stoke were a side that had Jack Butland for quite a long period of time. Um, is a bit thin on the ground, to be honest now, unfortunately for them. Um, but Travs is a good goalkeeper. Um, I'm hoping, you know, he can establish himself because he is the future and it would be foolish to actually let him go permanently. Um, likewise, it would be foolish to let Jaden Anthony go permanently. We need to keep hold of parts of what have got us here, the prospects that have got us here. Jaden Anthony was part of that, Travers was part of that. Um, they were both part of that promotion winning side. And Travers, you know, he, he's not great with the ball at his feet. We will play for, out from the back. Or that is the way that Andoni seems to want to play. But at the same time, you know, like I say, if we go straight forward, direct, you know, through the middle, dangerous. But if we go to either the left or the right, so over to Kirkes or Max Aarons, we've got more opportunity. So I'm hoping... The Travers, you know, hits the ground running. We'll see what Radu does. Um, of course, he's had two cup games. Um, the Swansea one was a bit shaky. Stoke one was a little bit better. Um, but it's all to be decided. Will we see Travers at some point tomorrow? Well, it really depends what uh, Radu does. You'd expect him not to come on. But, you know, it depends if Radu is looking a bit suspectable at the back. Um... Let us know what you think. You know, I would I would actually say start Travers. But Iriola has said he won't be. Um, it's a massive game tomorrow. A massive, massive, massive game. We need the three points. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get them. Come on, the cherries. We'll do this.